Hello, I'm Helen from Journal With Purpose and welcome to my latest YouTube video. Today I'm taking part in a really exciting collaboration. It's arranged by Louise Heinzor of Junk Journal Art and involves lots of other YouTubers and we're going to be doing some fast flow stitching using fall or autumn colours. And we're all going to be creating projects to use in our junk journals. My junk journal's nice and chunky now. And because I'm going to be adding lots of colours, I'm going to go for probably working on these two pages because they're nice and neutral. So I've got myself some plain fabric here and I've also got some Gutterman threads. I thought these would be perfect. So I've already put a lovely orange in my sewing machine. And fast flow stitching really is using something nice and curvy and all free flowing rather than necessarily sewing straight lines or anything too organized. So I'm gonna set up my sewing machine and get stitching on this fabric. I hope I've set the camera up in a way that you can see the sewing machine okay. I've got this really old yellow Toyota sewing machine but it works perfectly well. So for me to do free flow stitching I have to remove my foot and I also have this darning plate to pop on and cover the feet on the bottom of my sewing machine. And I'm still very much a beginner with free flow stitching, but it's a lot of fun. So it's going to have a play with my fabric. And I've decided I'm going to go for something really abstract. So I'm just going to sew lots of curvy lines so that I cover most of the fabric. And then I'm going to be adding paint to this in a bit. Okay, so I've now finished stitching all over this fabric. So I've just got lots and lots of curvy lines and spirals and just all sorts of fun shapes there. So now we're back at my desk. I'm thinking I'm going to attach this to my junk journal across both of the pages there. I had thought about maybe doing it down that side, but I think it looked quite nice, a bit more interesting going across the two. And I want to add lots of watercolour to this to really bring in some of those autumn colours. I've got a Prima Marketing Tropical set, but actually I think there's some colours in here which would work really well for those autumn colours. So I'm going to mix some of those up. I also just wanted to let you know that underneath in the video description box, you'll be able to find the playlist for everybody else who's taking part in this collaboration. And one of the things I find so fun about this is we'll all have the same guidelines of doing the fast flow stitching and using autumn colors, but I just know that everybody's projects are gonna be completely different to each other. And I love that. It's a great way to really kind of focus on one particular topic 
So if you're thinking of getting your sewing machine out and trying the fast flow stitching, you'll see so many different project ideas and I already can't wait to see all of the videos. And it's very likely we'll all be releasing at different times because the actual project's going to run from the 3rd to the 16th of October. So just have a look at everybody who's linked down below and you know, perhaps just try and catch up on them over that couple of weeks period. I think it will be really fun and give you lots of ideas for projects you can use in your junk journal or any other kind of journal too. I'm just going to carry on mixing up these colours. I've now got my autumn colours ready and I'm just going to start painting inside the different shapes. I'm going to try and make it so that I don't have the same colours right next to each other, but I'm not going to worry too much. So I'm just going to paint all of this in until hopefully I've got a really nice autumn coloured fabric in a kind of abstract style. I'm nearly at the end of adding my paint now. I've left a few of the circles empty because I want to add a little bit of contrast to those in a moment. But I've really enjoyed this. It took a while actually because it's can be slightly tricky painting onto this fabric, but Overall, I'm really, really pleased with the effect of this. So I'm just going to dry this off and show you how I'm going to finish this piece. So for some contrast, I'm going to use my Uni Posca paint pen in black. And I don't want lots of it because I love the colours that are in this. But I thought it might just be interesting to have a few darker patches in here. So not lots. I just thought it'd add so just a little bit more interest to it. I actually found out my Posca pen is just about run out, so I'm going to use my Pilot Pintor. They're very, very similar pens, just black acrylic paint pens.
Okay, I think that's now all done. I really like how those colours muted as they soaked into the fabric. And I think that's going to be a lovely piece now to add to my junk journal. And to glue this down, I'm going to use some Distress Collage Medium. I did think about getting my hot glue gun out, but it's already quite bumpy, this fabric with my stitching on the back. And I always seem to manage to get lumps when I use my glue gun. So I'm gonna use this, hope that it holds it down. And if it doesn't, I can always use my glue gun at a later date. I was quite worried when I first started filming this because I didn't really know what I was going to do and so I'm definitely not an expert in doing this kind of stitching but I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I love collaborations that kind of force me to do something a bit different and it's definitely going to be a lot of fun seeing how everybody else has tackled this challenge as well. So now to finish my page off, I'm going to use one of my printable quotes and I've gone for walks in nature because it just seemed perfect. That's exactly what that piece of painted fabric now looks like to me. I went on the most beautiful walk yesterday. I did actually film some of it and put it in my Instagram stories. It's just so lovely seeing those colours start to change. Okay, and I've got this wide strip of washi tape from London Gifties and this pumpkin really caught my eye because I didn't want anything too bold that would detract from the main piece that I've just created but I thought with the subtle colours of this it should look really nice. And I'm going to use my Tombow Fidonosuke brush pen to letter out the heading. And I'm just going to add a little bit of journal writing down the bottom using my black Muji gel pen. Okay, that's my journal pages complete. I really hope you enjoyed seeing my take on this collaboration. Please don't forget to check out all of the other videos. And if you do decide to create something using any of the ideas from this and you're on Instagram, please do tag me in as at Journal With Purpose. I'd absolutely love to see them. Well, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you're doing really well. I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video.